All new at five o'clock, stopping the violence. We must work together to stand up to violence and hate and make our communities safer for all. For one New Haven neighborhood, enough is enough. And they say rising crime is ruining their quality of life. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live with the mobile newsroom in the Elm City with all the details. Matt. Well, Aaron, New Haven's Beaver Hills neighborhood has seen a number of shootings, break-ins, and even a recent violent assault. And residents who live here say they just want to feel safe again. The first hit got to the back of the head. It felt like a two by four or something. Near Bongard still has a cut on his face, left over from the dozens of kicks after a group jumped him from behind while riding his bike down tree-lined Bellevue Road last week. It's a very nice community. It's a mixed community. We live very peaceful and nice. But Beaver Hills neighbors say they're seeing more crime. Mir hasn't changed his habits, so he's not going to change his habits. But I know my wife has. I know my children have. It's a concern. In addition to the recent assault, neighbors say there's been shootings, along with the synagogue on Norton Street getting broken into a number of times. While New Haven police had to eliminate dozens of unfilled positions earlier this year due to budget cuts, police recently made two separate arrests tied to the shootings in the area. But Senator Len Fasano, who represents North Haven and is friends with Bonger, questions if the recent police accountability bill is playing a role in rising crime. We believe that's resulting in less police officers being recruited for the job, less police officers, police officers retiring, which leaves a smaller force. New Haven State Rep Tony Walker, who lives in the neighborhood and showed up to support her constituents, wouldn't comment on Fasano's claims, but says everyone should feel safe. The important thing is to make sure that we have total representation and protection for every single person, no matter Republican, Democrat, black, white, Christian, Jew, it doesn't matter. Everybody should be safe. And that's what those live here are pushing for. We don't care about politics in this community. We're a small community. We just want safety. We want cops on the street to protect us. Now, Nir says years ago they had a neighborhood patrol. He said they've actually brought that back recently, driving around the neighborhoods at night looking for anything that is suspicious. As for that assault on him, uh, New Haven police are looking for anyone that has any information to give them a call. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.